Hey guys, Dr. Norm. Um, I'm noticing on Facebook, I'm seeing a lot of you guys are going on uh, mission trips, and that's fantastic. You know, I've, I've uh, made videos before about that. I think going on mission trips, the the benefits you get are, are um, th there's a lot of benefits you'll get um, as far as how it prepares you for the real world of chiropractic, not just your... Uh, your technique, but your mindset and everything like that. So a lot of a lot of positives around mission trips, um, but the argument often comes up that um, you don't have the tools necessary to be effective on a mission trip. I mean, and and by tools, I mean you don't have access to X-ray. Um, you don't have. You might not have instrumentation. Um, you're not doing full exams. You're pretty much just having patients walk in. You're doing whatever quick chiropractic exam you can do and then uh, you're giving an adjustment. And that's, that's one of the uh, criticisms that people have about mission trips. Um, is it better to have more criteria? Absolutely. I mean, if you could take x-rays of every single person there, that would, you would be, your, your diagnosis would be much, much better. Um, that's why, and I don't, I don't mean to turn this into a, a preachy Gonstead thing, but in the Gonstead world, we have five criteria, and we overlap those criteria, and we try to say, based on all of those, what's our best guess on this patient? Um, but there are times where you just don't have all five criteria at your disposal, and one of those is, uh, one of the five criteria is x-ray. So what can you do if you're on a mission trip? Well, there are things like um, static palpation, motion palpation, obviously, uh, visualization, um, if you can take a little scope with you, you can have instrumentation with you. Um, and then there are other things that uh, I don't necessarily do, but they are diagnostic. Uh, things like leg checks and things like muscle tests. Um, those, the, the whole point of me bringing this up, the more criteria you can have, the better. And not just on mission trips, but in your actual office. Um, the danger comes when you're only using one one thing for your criteria. So, you know, it's I'll just, I'll just go ahead and say it, but... People who only use leg check to say, do I adjust this patient or not? That's not enough. That's that's nowhere near enough. And you're, even though that's gonna be better than no criteria at all, um, you still need something else to compare that to. So, you know, if you are, if you do choose to do leg checks, I would encourage you to please add some static palpation and some motion palpation to your analysis and really try to figure out um, where is this patient's problem? Try to get as specific as you can um, in order to help the patient in the best possible way. So again, that, just a real quick video to tell you on your mission trip, yes, um, you're not going to have all the diagnostic tools that you would have in school or out in your actual practice, but um, you, you still will have an ability to check a patient for subluxation. So use as much as you can and then um, correlate all those findings to try to make a, a, a good clinical decision uh, for your patients. So again, those of you who are going on these mission trips, my hat's off to you, power to you, and that's a, it's a fantastic thing to do. Uh, those of you who have not yet signed up for a mission trip, please do. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, leave them below and I'll talk to you soon.